What's up everybody? Thanks for tuning in. Central Florida Fisherman here. We're out here on the Indian River. We're gonna throw some lures. I got some live shrimp. We're gonna hit some edges. We're gonna go up here to Dragon Point, fish some of the structure down off of Barron Island. And see what we can catch. So stay tuned. So what we got here is a, a lure made by Raw Outdoors. You can check them out at rawoutdoors.com. This is the Shimmer Shad. And these things have such a live action in the water, it's unbelievable. Go check them out. I ended up picking this lure up online. Um, great lure. I'm gonna pick up the next size up now, get a little bigger one. I wasn't sure really what to expect with it or size wise, but uh, it's a great little lure. Single uh, treble hook there. Here we go. Another nice little mangrove. Check that out. It's a good looking little fish right there. So we seem to have a bunch of small baits running. And with this little raw lure, looks just like those little baits we have running so it's going to mimic everything that's in here really well and the action on this floor is unbelievable and they have various sizes of this lure available when I got this one it's the smallest one they have in the lineup, I should have went the next size up. So you hear that raw? I need the next size up. Let's go ahead and send that out to me. But for these little mangroves, seems to be working great. All right, little snapper. Check that out. Nice little mangrove. So most of the pictures I saw for this were mainly freshwater. But I saw the action in it. And I'm like, nah, I gotta get that down here in Florida. We gotta get that lure in the salt water. I think it looks like it was made for here. So I came out last weekend to shoot a video. Got out of here, put the boat in the water, fired it up, went to turn. There we go. And my steering cable was froze up. That's the one thing with the boats is there's always something in this salt water. Salt water don't make it any easier. Another little snapper. Got him on the roll. You guys should go check out this company. These are great little lures. Another one there. They're tearing this little thing up. That thing looks just like a real, real bait swimming across there. They can't resist it. The mangrove snapper killer right here.
we're in the end of July now down here in Florida it starts to get hot real hot so I try to get out here early mornings get my fishing in and get in by lunchtime right around there it hits two three o'clock it's unbearable out here you got the sun shining down you got it hitting the water and bouncing right back up so you're taking it both ways important to wear sunscreen especially living in an environment like this there we go so this rod set up i got a shimana Terramar running a stratic I think we got a big old mangrove here. Yeah, we do. That's a nice fish. Look at that guy. Spitting that bait up. That's a big old snapper. That's exactly what we were looking for here. trick with these mangroves if you ever come down here and fish or if you're familiar with them you'll already know but when you got them hooked and you want them to open that mouth it's almost impossible to get in there they lock down it seems like the only time they open their mouth is when they want to bite you in the finger you get your finger close to their mouth Right there's a keeper. We're gonna have that guy for dinner. Can't beat some fresh snapper. That's a good sized snapper right there. And put him in the live well. little catfish down there tearing up bait we're not going to eat him we're not all naked and afraid so throw him back in the water Get another bait on. Let's see if we can pull anything out of this tree here. There's gotta be something in there. tree like that and not have anything laying under it. Little pig fish. That's great snook bait right there. I'll tell you what, we might hold on to him. him in the live well as long as he doesn't eat all my shrimp we'll be good to go
sailor's choice here. Good little bait fish. They're pretty. They got them spikes on the top that get you though. Fish there. Get him back in there. Another catfish. I'll tell you, I'm not running any weight. Can't get away from these guys today. Hey, look at that little guy. Look at the colors in him. Get him back in the water. Now here, somebody must have got broken off or something. I'll tell you what, I don't want to leave this out here. This is the kind of stuff that birds and turtles and fish get wrapped up in, the manatees. There's a lot of line. To just be broke off out here in the see along with your good deeds got a nice sable lure right there how's that it all pays off We'll just put this in the tackle box and throw it away when we get home. It's no good out here. I will keep the lure though. That I will keep. There's a good snapper.
metal snapper there. We're gonna put him in the live well. That's a thick fish right there. We'll put him with the other one. That'll be enough for dinner tonight. That's one thing with these snapper. See how they took the tail off of that shrimp? I'm still gonna use that shrimp to, to fish with. A lot of fish, your snook, your tarpon, fish like that are gonna be real picky on having a live shrimp. But these snapper don't care. So there's no need to throw that away and get another piece of bait. Cause you can put that out there and get yourself another snapper. You can even take your shrimp and cut them up and do little pieces. If you get some dead shrimp, That's the way to go with that usually. Cut them up, use them for uh, little pieces of chunk bait. Another little snapper. Swallowed that. Dude, we're just gonna cut that loose. And there's no need to go ripping and tearing and try to get that out. You just cut it loose, leave that tag end there. That's the shrimp there, actually. Put them back in the water. That hook's designed to rust off. So that'll rust off that fish will be right back to normal. I've actually caught fish that had hooks in their mouth still and they're still eating. So that's one way to get it back out there, save the fish, it's only a hook. All right, well that sun's coming out, it's getting hot. I'm gonna wrap it up for the day. We got the two snapper, we'll go home, we'll get them cleaned up. Get them on the trigger. All right, we're back. We got the snappers here. Good day out there. Gonna make some tacos out of these guys. Super hot day. So I'm back, got myself a cold beer. Beer brought to you by P&K Mini Market up in uh, Titusville on South Park Ave. If you're heading out fishing, you're in the area, you need something, stop by, grab yourself some beers, some drinks, say hi to John, the owner. It's a family owned business. We try to support them, we try to keep those guys going. But uh, let's get these uh, fish clean and get some tacos going. We'll zip this out here pretty quick. All right, got them filleted up. We'll get in here, we'll season them up. We'll get them on the trigger. We'll start to make our sauce, get everything ready for the tacos. Let's do it. All right, so we got the fillets. I got some five pepper sauce from Pepper Palace. Got it from a buddy of mine, Kyle. Got that for me. Thanks, Kyle. I'm gonna put some of that on the fillets here. Flip it. Get some on the other side. All right, we got the trigger warming up out there. Just let that trigger come up the temperature and we'll get these fish on there. It won't take long once the, the grill's up the temperature. 
So we got the veggies here. We have Roma tomatoes, some limes, onion, some red cabbage, and an avocado. We got some mayonnaise, sour cream, sriracha, Lowry's garlic powder, some cheese, and some cilantro. So I'll show you what we're gonna do with all this stuff here. All right, so the sauce we're gonna make, so what I wanna do is I want half a cup of sour cream. Dukes here. So this will be the taco sauce for the top of the tacos. Right there. We want a teaspoon of garlic powder. teaspoon of sriracha and you can add more sriracha if you want depends on how spicy you want it A teaspoon usually works out pretty good for me Take, cut half a lime, get that lime juice in there. Now you can stir that up. ready to go. Look at that. So what I'm going to do here is cut the tomatoes. Cut this lime down too. That's all going to get plated in here. We're going to need half of this onion. pieces here. We're going to cut up some of this cabbage. Yeah. 
and the avocado. So there we go, that's going to be our toppings. We've got the tomatoes, the limes, the red cabbage, the onions, the avocado. Lots of colors, prevents, presents very nice. All right, let's get this fish going here. All right, now we're just going to take some of this fresco cheese. and grate a little bit of it, which is always a mission because it crumbles, it's a crumbling cheese. So I'm going to take a few of these tortillas, pull them out, and I got a pretty big air fryer. So I'm going to take and surround the outside of it. With these tortillas. No, they got them laid in there. I'll run that for about a minute, a little under a minute. Get them shells a little warmed up. So we got our fillets off the trigger. Look at those bad boys. They look good. So we can start to plate some of these up here. Some tacos. They don't gotta be super fancy. So take one of these tortillas, lay it down, grab some fish here. Grab some cabbage. A few onions. Some tomatoes. Slice of avocado. Take a lime. A little bit of lime juice. Sauce we mixed up. Put that on there. And some cheese. All right, I'm going to get a couple more made up, and we'll go get some taste testers. All right, we're back. So I got Jason. You've seen him in our other videos. Amanda, my wife. So we're going to go ahead and uh, give these tacos a try. You want to go first? You want to do it together? Yeah, I guess yeah. we'll do it together. They look really good. They're very good, babe. They are really good. Very good. I like all the stuff you put in there, too. So that's how you do it. You go out there, catch yourself some snapper. Any fish will work. Doesn't have to be just snapper. But uh, season it up. Get your toppings. Make your sauce. 
Anybody can do it. Thanks for tuning in. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Support the channel. Appreciate everybody watching. Have a great one.